I want to get serious. How do I look like now? Do I look good? Awesome. Wait a second, just wait for somebody to pass by. Okay, so let's get serious. About three months ago, I was diagnosed with celiac, and it's a club I didn't want to join. People think it's a death sentence for a gourmet like me to have something removed um, from their diet, but it's not. Every bread I've bought, a lot of the bakeries I've been to that are gluten-free are really flavorful and, and have something luscious, delectable, mouth-watering, toothsome, dainty. Scrumptious. <laughs> Tempting. Delectable. Did I say delectable? Palatable. They're just tasty. So it's really not as bad as people make it out to be. I'm here at Hibiscus Cafe. I'm going to have some brunch and uh, taste the crepe that's gluten. <laughs> I can't figure out if I'm going to have the, the savory crepes or if I'm going to have the sweet crepes. It's brunch. I have no idea. Okay, so I'm going to have the brie cheese, apple, and pecan. Okay. I'll get the uh, vegan mozzarella tomato spinach. Thank you. Yummers. Gluten-free crepes. So this is vegan, so that icing has no milk in it, but it tastes just like cream cheese. And that's like super moist. You, you, you wouldn't tell that, that there's no eggs or anything in this. This is really one of the best cupcakes I've ever had. It's gluten free and and vegan at the same time. You can't say that having celiac or even having any intolerance is gonna cause you to lose out in any way. If you can get yourself to a bakery that cooks like this, then there's no reason to not be a gourmet. I'm just gonna try a donut, please. Yeah, and the chocolate crumble, too. The chocolate crumble? So I'm in the basement of Saks at the Eaton Center for Sorel & Co's opening. It opened in November, and they have the most luscious napkins I've ever seen in my life. But they also have guilt-free food, and what they mean is uh, gluten-free, uh, dairy-free, allergen-free, totally free. So I grabbed a chocolate crumble and a donut, because do donuts are notoriously difficult to make without flour. I gotta eat this. It's delicious and sophisticated. Yeah? Mm. Is that the first donut you've had in months? It's one of the crying shames of being diagnosed with celiac. Is certain things I don't mind missing out on, like bread, but donuts and certain cakes. It's a crying shame. But when you eat stuff like this, 
we're kind of like in the salad days of gluten-free cooking. People have developed recipes that actually be really tasty and flavorful. I was actually looking up terms before to try and expand my vocabulary. So delectable is one of them. Let's try this chocolate combo. Mm. Gluten free isn't a four letter word anymore. This stuff is good though. So you don't have to shy away if you get diagnosed with celiac. There's a lot of options for really tasty food out there. Because this stuff is amazing. This is the most amazing nappers I've ever seen in my life.